G'day mate, it's Matty Graham here, author of Paddle Stronger. Now, I am assuming that you're watching this video because you are either one, a waka armor, or two, an outrigger canoe paddler who wants to know if Paddle Stronger will help your performance, even though Paddle Stronger is designed primarily with kayakers in mind. Now, the short answer is yes, it absolutely will. I have used Paddle Stronger and Paddle Strong, the predecessor of Paddle Stronger, with Waka Armour and Outrigger Canoe Paddlers a lot, and it's been very, very successful. But if you want to know more, stick around, because that's exactly what we're going to talk about, how Paddle Stronger can improve Outrigger Canoe and Waka Armour Paddling. So here we go. Now, when we look at the two sports from a strength training perspective, they're not actually that different with how we approach things with training. The first thing that we look at is the movement patterns. Now the movement patterns of waka armor up the top here and kayaking down the bottom here are more similar than they are different. Now I understand that there's a lot of nuances when it comes to on-water technique, but we're not trying to train technique in the gym. And because these two movement patterns are quite similar, it means that the muscle groups used to produce these two movement patterns are also quite similar. And when it comes to strengthening these different muscle groups, whether it be a kayaker or a waka armor or outrigger canoe paddler, again, quite similar in terms of their focus. And the third and fourth point around this are the primary training goals when it comes to gym-based strength training, whether you're a kayaker or a waka armor or outrigger canoe paddler are the same. We're looking at trying to improve performance either directly or indirectly. And let's take a little bit more of a look at these two so we get an understanding around those. So the benefits of gym-based strength training for an outrigger or waka armor paddler. We're trying to improve performance directly. So this means we're trying to improve the muscle's capacity to generate force. The more force we can produce, the more power we can produce when we pull that paddle, more power equals more speed. Now we do that by improving the, mus the, the neuromuscular activation of muscles, improving the fatigue resistance, and increasing the muscle fiber size. Because a bigger muscle fiber is potentially a stronger muscle fiber. And I emphasize the word potentially there because you can generate a big muscle and it not be that strong. Just have to look at bodybuilders, big muscles, they've worked on developing the muscle tissue, but they've neglected to train the nerves that activate those muscles. So they've got a big muscle, but they're not overly strong for how big they are. So what we want to do is we want to train the muscle itself, but also the nerves that activate those muscles so we can generate more force. And all of that's going to lead to an increase of on-water speed which I assume you're trying to do. The other way we can improve our performance in the gym is through indirect performance improvements. Now, indirect performance improvement is all about developing a body that is able to withstand a higher on-water training load. If you train more or harder or a combination of the two on the water without getting injured, you're obviously going to improve your performance. Now, in the gym, we can help that by improving our postural control, our musculoskeletal alignment, and increased injury resilience. When we're in the boat and we're doing the same movement pattern over and over and over again, we develop muscular imbalances. We put a lot of load on some tissues, but we don't put a lot of load on other tissues. In the gym, what we can do is we can make up for what we miss out of on the water, and also correct those imbalances so that we don't get overuse injuries that lead to time off water, that niggly forearm, that sore shoulder, that lower back that's sore. All of those things can be improved with gym-based strength training, and that allows you to train on water as much as needed to improve your performance. And at the end of the day, on-water training is the best way to improve your waka armor, or outrigger canoe paddling performance, hands down. Gym-based strength training just helps you do that indirectly. 
So I hope you can see that kayaking and waka armor or outrigger canoe paddling are quite similar when it comes to gym-based strength training and what we're trying to achieve. Now there are some little nuances and slight differences and that's why in Paddle Stronger I have included a video presentation similar to this where I dig deeper into these different aspects and provide outlines of what you can do in the gym to maximize these. So this is stuff around the specifics, what we're actually trying to achieve with our performance and then also some little adjustments that you can make that will make your training all that more specific for you. Now, I just want to leave you with one story that I got from a Waka Armour paddler who used Paddle Strong, the predecessor of Paddle Stronger. Now, Paddle Stronger builds on Paddle Strong and is my best training system for paddle sport athletes to date. So this is what they got with an inferior training system. So during my Waka 1 training journey, I was just trying to paddle hard and as much as I possibly could. Does that sound familiar to you? I assessed all my notes and identified two important things that I needed to focus on. One, effective training, and two, using the right muscles. And that's how they found out about Paddle Strong. What they found is that they improved their top hand control. My top hand on the paddle is now controlled. This allows the paddle to enter smoother, and paddling in line with the canoe, making it glide. Tick. Posture. I feel my frame is positioned nicely, and I don't have a hunched back, as their kids put it. I always felt that this was cutting off my breathing. So that's just one story of a Waka Armour paddler who found Paddle Stronger effective at improving their performance. So make sure you get your free inside look at Paddle Stronger and see what it is all about. If you've got any questions that I can answer, please let me know. Now just remember, no matter how good your training plan is, it's not going to work unless you do. So get out there and train hard, but most importantly, train smart and Paddle Stronger. I'll talk to you later.